All right, so I'm about to go in and freak out Joe Breezy from a, a radio show here in Atlanta, and I have a prediction for him. This little piece of paper right here is going to blow his mind. <laughs> this is always fun because I have no clue what's about to happen. I don't know this guy, but I'm going to get really personal and in his head. <laughs> kind of exciting. This elevator. It's magic. <laughs> so can you like read elevator. our minds even like right now? I can. I already. I already got started. Yeah. I already got something for you. What? Uh, what? So what are you thinking? I mean, I don't... it's Wilds 105.7 and 96.7. What's going on? I'm Joe Breezy. Joined here, of course, with uh, Chicka C and Sarah Bavon. Ladies, are you guys nervous because we have a, uh, a magician slash psychic slash illusionist slash badass person in the building? Uh, Wayne Hoffman. <laughs> How are you, man? Yeah. Hey, I'm. Gr I'm great. This is. This is awesome. Thanks for letting me come in and uh and have some fun with you guys. I, I, I'm already nervous, ladies. How I'm are you guys excited. feeling? I'm excited slash nervous. Okay. <laughs> you should be. So, so, so how, how does this work? Like, what, what do we do? This so, yeah, stuff. basically, uh, I, I read minds for a living, okay. uh, and I do magic. So I, I have some things that I want to try with you guys. I'm, I'm going to see if uh, see if I can get in your dome. Okay. Earlier, before I even walked into the building, okay. I made a prediction of something that was going to happen. Okay. And I put it in my pocket here uh, on this piece of paper. And I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it here for a second. Uh, all I want you to do right now is clear your mind and imagine that you go on a free vacation anywhere in the world. Tell us all where you would want to go. Uh, One spot. Jamaica. Imagine you're in Jamaica. Picture okay. what it would look like. Picture the people, the scene, okay? Go to a hotel in your mind and I want you to go to your hotel room. What hotel room number would you stay in if you could choose your own number? Just make something up. Um, 2458. Okay, is that important to you in any way? Yeah, like, uh... I don't know, lucky number, part of an ATM totally passcode. No. So, in other words, there's no way I could have known that. They couldn't have told me that in advance. Correct. Correct? No well, here's the weird thing. Remember that piece of paper that I showed you? Hang on a second. I'm going to put this mic back on. I have this piece of paper in my pocket. I put this here, and I showed the camera this earlier. I want you to unfold that and read what I had written on there. You might freak out a little bit. I'm not totally about to. Hold on. Jamaica 2458. Right on the money. Shut up. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. Yes. That's yes. Scary. Right on the money. So uh, it's weird because I almost put Hawaii and then I changed it at the last okay, second, okay. which was kind of weird. Um, okay, now I'm nervous. Now you should be nervous. That's all right. Don't worry. I won't tell uh, anybody any of your secrets. Are you ready? Mm. Look, she's scared. <laughs> all right, you ready? Um, I want you to, you're, in a moment, you're going to be thinking of a person that's important to you in your mind, and I'm going to try to figure it out. Um, so just clear your mind. You're going to get this person, whoever's important to you, a person that's important to you in your mind and picture their face right now. Okay. You got it? Mm -hmm. Think of it. Now, have you told anybody in here who you're thinking of? Obviously not. No. Look at me. Think of the name. All right, right away I'm getting vibes. In fact, this is interesting because I feel like, I feel like you, you thought of somebody for a brief second and almost thought of them, but you went in for the person that's in your mind now. It's almost like there was two people, but it was real quick. You were like, should I think of that person? You were like, no. And then you went in for a female that's in your mind. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. This is what I'm seeing in your brain. No. Okay, I don't know what this is. I know, it, 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 I have no idea what this is. I'm getting something like this. Now, first of all, I'm getting a vibe. Is it your mom? Yeah. Because you're saying my mom in your mind. Yeah. Uh, because you don't call her by, by her name, because that would kind of, that would kind of, this is what I'm getting. I don't know. Uh, what's the first letter? What's the first letter? Of, oh, I can tell you. Yeah. J. A J? Mm -hmm. How close did I get? Was that it? Yeah. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So that's the name of your yeah. mom. Is that's Joan. what she wrote down. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. How do you know? That? How do you know? <laughs> He's like, well, I'm a mind reader. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what I do in a nutshell. It's kind of just interactive mind reading. People think things. Uh, and I try to figure out what they are. That's that's it. Can we do one more with Sarah? Yeah. She's very sad sure, sure. Actually, I noticed she has some bling on. That watch is nice. Can I borrow your watch for a second? Yeah. Um, here, actually, I'll come on uh, on oh, this. I'm sorry. It's all good. Here, I'll I'll join uh, join you on this mic. It says, uh, let's see here, almost quarter of the hour. Do you agree? Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. You're going to make sure that I don't pull the, uh, the button out of here. There's, mm -hmm. you know, all these switches. Make sure I don't pull it out. Go like this. Squeeze it. Just, yep. And hold it to your chest. Now, it's about quarter of the hour. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do some weird psychokinetic stuff with the watch. But first, I want you to name a number out loud between 1 and 40. 17. Okay. I want you to imagine that I'm placing 17 minutes in my hand, okay? Just mm -hmm. to picture it in your mind, all right? Now, I try to, if I can, just clear my mind and start to concentrate. Imagine I'm holding minutes, okay? Name a number between, I guess, in the same range, something between 1, what did I say, 1 and 40, 30, 50, what? What was it again? Uh, Between one you have a favorite or a lucky one number? And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What did I say? I don't even remember. Yeah. Do yeah. yeah. you want me to name it? Yeah. Say it out loud. Out loud. So, two. Two. We're gonna add two more. Okay. So you equaled nineteen. Okay. Totally random. Yours was really weird. Most people name higher, but watch mm -hmm. this. <laughs> two. One. Tell me if your watch moved into the future, all the way around past the hour to around nineteen after. Take a look. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a reaction right there. For the radio. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's that. Crazy. Holy crap. That's, yeah. What is that? Yo. Teach us what is that? I want to yeah. know. Like, teach that's us crazy. what that so is. That's, uh, that's, it's 19 after on the dot. Yeah, let me see. I think it's got, did I hit it on the dot? Yeah. Maybe a little over, yeah. But that's, that's close enough for me. Yeah. Now, did you feel it? Actually, did you feel anything My change? My hand feels weird. <laughs> yeah, weird stuff is happening. Now, you could, you could, it was, <laughs> what, quarter of or something? So it would be like 46 no, how do you do this? Out? Very carefully. Watch this. Three, two, one. Take a look and tell me if it went back to where it was. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's, yeah, there She's you go. So that's what, that's, yeah, Bug. too much time doing weird stuff. All right, let's try. Uh, right, um, Wait, now, you we've been getting a lot of calls. Okay. And, you know, people who who, who want to talk to you. Uh, we can put them on hold. So I definitely want to get somebody on the phone right now. And you, you, you can do stuff over the phone. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I it's cool because if you can hear a person's voice, you can try to figure out what they're thinking. Okay. So we can try some stuff, yeah. Right. If there are uh, people on the air. Absolutely. My arm kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What did you do to her? <laughs> You know, I have that effect on Hello. women, you know. Hey, Jade. Hey, what's up? Okay, we're here with Wayne Hoffman right here, who is the, uh, the you know, magician, illusionist, super badass. What, what's your exact title? Um, the before? official title is Mentalist and Illusionist, because okay. I do both mentalism and I do illusion. Okay, so. now we're going to have some fun with you. Uh, oh, yeah. Are you ready? I don't, I don't know. What, what do we do for Okay. Um, first of all, here's what we're going to try. I'm going to focus your thoughts on, onto a particular subject, and then I'm going to see if I can get, get in your head. So I want you to think of a country that you'd like to travel to in, let's say, keep it kind of easy, uh, I guess in Euro like Europe, like Western Europe. Um, don't pick like Czechoslovakia or anything. I don't even know if Czechoslovakia <laughs> even exists anymore. It doesn't. So, so don't pick one of those countries that keep changing their name that we don't know. Pick a, a country in Europe that you, you know, normal Western Europe that you'd like to travel to one day. And I want you to just get that in your mind and let me know when you have one. Okay. Okay, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Now, think of the spelling of the country. Can, do you know how to spell it? Yes, no? Yeah, totally. All right, here we go. Concentrate on the spelling. Right away, I'm getting a letter. I'm sensing there, there's a letter A in your country, definitely. Am I correct? Yeah. I'm also seeing a letter. This one is a little bit because you're kind of fading in and out with it. I can't tell. I think it's a letter N is in Nancy. Is it a letter N? Yeah. Okay, keep thinking. I'm sensing a letter because you keep going back. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Uh, I'm sensing a letter. I think it's a letter D. D is in David. No, it's an R. Sorry, R. Yeah. Okay, keep keep going. Uh, there's a letter E. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a letter C. Yeah. F R A N C. France. You were picturing Paris and the Eiffel Tower. Am I right? Oh my gosh! Yeah. What? 
Okay. <laughs> are, are you like for real? You guys didn't plan this and text each other? You, know, you meet each other on the internet? No, no, crazy. no, no, definitely not. And and I offer one million dollars to anyone who can prove otherwise. I I know that what I do is really unbelievable, and people are very skeptical, and I'm a huge skeptic. Right. Uh, but I offer one million dollars to anyone who can prove that's prearranged. I don't know that person. I have no no clue who that is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, cool. So. Okay, how, like, I mean, like I don't even know what to say. <laughs> how did you start, like, doing this? Tell us about your Yeah, so uh, I got started as a magician, uh, just did magic as a kid, and from there I studied psychology in college. Okay. And, and it was that year that I really got interested in psychology and human behavior, and after that, uh, I kind of blended the two. What I've been doing here is considered mentalism. It's all based on psychology and things like that um, and, and that kind of science. But I started doing magic, man. You know, pick a card, any card, making things appear and disappear. And after that, uh, I started blending that with the, the, the mentalism, and, 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 that, and the rest is history. Now I tour literally all over the world and freak people out. That's awesome. Yeah. So wh wh where are you going to be at next? How can people get in touch with you everything? Uh, yeah, I mean, my tour schedule is at WayneHoffman.com, um, you know, or you can hunt me down on Facebook or Twitter or all those social media things. I'm big on social media, man. Okay. My fans are my, my anchor. Nice. So, um, yeah, uh, tonight I'm actually performing at Dalton State University. Cool. Uh, going to do a show for the students there. I do a college campus tour twice a year. Year. All right. So uh, every fall and spring, uh, I do that. So yeah, that's the next stop. All right. Yeah. So. Awesome. Does it um, does it like totally work with chicks? Like when you're out. <laughs> like, I mean, can you, you know what I mean? You know what? I, don't know, I think that'd be awesome. Just to try. I'll to... tell you what. I get that question a lot <laughs> right? from guys. It's amazing. <laughs> That's the first thing that every guy, a guy thinks of. Man, I could read read chicks' minds. Um, one of the things that I do and one of the things I'm most well known for is I can read a girl's mind and get her phone number. So it does help. I'll tell you what, the biggest yeah. thing is this. It helps break the ice. And oh, I think absolutely. that's the hardest thing for most guys to do because what's the first thing you say? Hi, can I buy you a drink? It's so weird. Yeah, yeah it's weird. And, and I don't know if girls feel the same way, but guys, you know, if, from my standpoint, it's hard to go up to a person. What do you have to yeah. offer them in an instant that'll get them totally. interested to but hear what you have to say? Like exactly. That, if I walk up to a person and say, were you born on February 18th? And they go, how did you know that? They're instantly oh, intrigued. Yeah, so you have a conversation with, cool. with, you know, so, hey, man, if you need a wingman, let's, let's go out. We'll, we'll tear it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's fun, you know. Cool, wow. Yeah. Well, Wayne Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank by. you, thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having me in. This, You guys were awesome. Thanks for letting me get in your dome. Absolutely. It's mind reading. <laughs> cool.